Hey guys, it's Graham, and today I'm gonna do a money making guide for you guys who need a way to make some easy cash. And if you're kind of stuck and you need new armor or something like that, then this is probably your way to go. Uh, well, there will be some risks. You are going to be in the wild, and there is some risks of having peak airs always take a teleport I take a house tab and a glory because glory can the glory can teleport up to 30 wild and the teleport tab can teleport up to 20 so if you're in 21 and you get ambushed by clan and you need a panic you take the glory and just tell it Edgeville or wherever just tell it somewhere safely uh, I'm gonna run you through an inventory setup and a familiar setup this is a green dragon bot killer guide this is actually extremely good money it's a lot faster than killing dragons themselves and you know debones are very high demand and they're worth quite a bit of cash I usually make at least two mil an hour or more it just depends on your stats and how you kill them what gear I use polyporn gano I also use declaws and whip in case somebody tries to PK me or those stupid bots just tank out my hits that happens a lot too. I also take berries for freezing. Um, plenty of prayer pots. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll run you through. It. Um, any familiar, any familiar works. Um, they all speed up. The higher you use, the more they will speed your trip. Um, I only have 70 summoning, so I think I'm going to stick with the war tortoise. Obviously, I can't do anything better like the pack yak or anything else. Uh, Bull Ant will be the worst to bring. It is the first familiar that holds items. It only holds, I'm not sure, six spaces maybe. I can't remember. Uh, not very many. Then you have the Spirit Terror Bird. Uh, that, that is probably recommended for lower levels who don't have the War Tortoises to take the Terror Bird. It's only 52 summoning. Uh, then the War Tortoise, which holds 18 spaces it takes 68 summoning to use and then the pack yak which is 96 summoning that is the fastest because you can bank your bones there is no banking needed unless you run out of food or pots or get pk'd um, if you notice my inventory I would have a super attack super strength a prairie newel those always help those work great for um, those work great for the uh, if you just are using protect mage or something because I don't normally take an anti-dragon shield that is something you can take I forgot to mention that um, anti super anti fires also work if you want to take them I don't have an anti-dragon shield though I'd show you um, since I use super anti's <laughs> but I normally take a Vecna skull I don't really like the mage pots the Vecna skull is always more handy if you don't have enough money just take the mage pot or don't take any pots at all I normally use polypore and full gano with Sears ring and the damage book for the per bonus and this attack and strength bonus but you notice how I don't really have much food in my inventory I only have four rock sets in case of emergencies the rest goes in my war tortoise it that helps a lot in case so like when you loot the botters you can loot all the bones and then swap out your your familiar for the food and either drop it, eat it, or save it, whatever you need to do. This is probably the most recommended setup. Um, it requires 80 mage for the polypore, the barrow's gloves, you know, the recipe for disaster, 85 defense for Gano, and that that is the requirements for the setup. I will sh I will show you a couple more setups like like a setup like this. Um, this is the Grafolic and Farseer Helm. This is probably your most welfare gear with the Polypore Staff. It has still really good mage bonus. It's not horrible. You can go there and do whatever you're needing to do and get it done fast and very effectively. Um, I mainly recommend using mage against these guys because they always use melee armor. The bots do not normally use dragon hide armor. Um, I recommend the Grafolic, no no harems or anything like that because of its defense bonuses, you're going to need those. 
Uh, the Griff, the Ganodoric is obviously better. Look at its defense bonuses compared to the Griffolic. But if you cannot wear Gano, Griffolic is the way to go. Um, let me pause and I'll show you a different setup. This will, I'll show you my melee setup for people who extreme welfares. Okay, and this is normally the setup for extreme welfares. Um, obviously, you can substitute some things for others, like the damage book. You can substitute for Tazar shield. The D skim you can substitute for the whip. You can always uh, substitute the Tazar shield for the dragon defender. Uh, dragon boots you can substitute for climbing boots. Uh, Ring of life is recommended. I take Sears because I'm stupid and I don't care if I die, but I don't because I'm awesome. Um, Nezzy helm. Uh, you can swap that out for Berserker Helmet or Runeful. The Dehide, uh, that's good against Mage, against the Dragon's attacks, since you don't, unless you don't take an Anti-Dragon, you make sure to pray Mage on them so you don't die. Um, using the Rune Legs, Rune, you can always use Rune Legs for Black Dehide. Don't normally, don't normally take the Rune Plate instead. The Rune Legs and the Black Dehide Plate Body are effective enough, um... I'll go ahead and show you that with the rune legs. Like that would be that would be a welfare setup. Um, this will get your trip done, but it won't do it the fastest. So I still recommend the Ganodermic. That is probably the best way to go. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna quickly show you the route up there, and hopefully get you started. And I'm going to show you a full trip of me doing this. Um, like I said, there is a risk. I don't know by the time I get out there I could be getting PK'd I could be doing whatever you know so yeah I'm gonna pause and get back to you in just a moment alright so this is your route um, this is right above Edgeville Bank mainly this is probably the quickest route to the f to the dungeon the 4 and 3 dungeon whatever, however you want to pronounce it uh, just jump over the the wilderness wall it's just above the unlit beacon and just run straight north um, you keep going keep going obviously keep going keep going Obviously, watch for PKers. Um, don't do what I did and laugh at the PKer. Here's here's a funny story while I'm running. Keep going here. Here's the titty hump. Dodge the titty hump here. <laughs> Nightmare R H quote. Titty hump. Um, what I did once it was hilarious. I lost 40 mil. I saw a group of people coming and I was like, haha, noobs. As I clicked the telly tab, I got TB'd and died. Do not waste time typing, please. I don't want you to lose your stuff. Like I said, this is at your own risk, but it really is good money. Okay, so I went ahead, drank my pots and stuff, and normally I do pray like this, soul split, and then just start barraging. Barrage. Um. I like to look for groups of bots so I can barrage more than one at a time. If not, that's fine. You don't always have to. It's up to you. Um, normally, if you don't have barrage, polypore just one at a time. No big deal. And KO okay, that one. Uh oh. Make sure to pray mage if the dragon attacks you. Don't want to die. Uh, this is how I normally do this. It's up to you, but. Normally, I do not pick up the hides. The hides are the least of my worries. I don't normally worry about them. Uh, the bones are just what's what matters to me the most. Uh, also, another thing that I do is I normally bring my... Here's a good way to just swap out your bones real quick. If you want to. Doesn't matter. Drop your food. Do whatever. Continue killing. Turmoil then. Bam. Um, hopefully I don't get peak at wow, four twelve. So yeah, if you notice, this is a lot faster. Oh god. Who is that? <laughs> He's running. <laughs> what a nub. Um, yeah, this is a lot faster, especially since these guys suck and they die extremely easy.
like so. I've already almost filled up. I'll, I've done this for, I've been here for less than two minutes now. I'm going to go ahead and show you how much profit I make at the end of this trip. It's actually quite a bit if you think, like, think about the time it takes and the supplies you spend. I use Rocktails. Um, I'm going to turn my clan off. Yeah. I'm, I normally use Rocktails. Um, <laughs> I really don't recommend you guys spending money on Rocktails if you don't have the money for it. Uh, so don't go around and just be like, oh, I told you to pick Rocktails because I'm stupid and stuff. I have a problem with blowing money, okay? So I've just about filled up my tortoise already. And it's, this has actually been a slow trip, I, just because I'm showing you guys how to do it. Normally I can fly through one like nothing, but I just want to get you guys to understand the base. Oh my god. To understand the basics. <laughs> this is crazy. Die. Um, especially when you get the bots to death dot, that works a lot better. Uh, you're, I'm about to get a lot of loot here. Here's a great example of a f really nice kill. And then they're gonna unfreeze, never mind. <laughs> Dang, this sucks. Ah, oh, stupid noobs. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and KO one of these just for the lulz. So let's KO you, right there. Boom, KO you. Oh, now let's KO you. Die. KO. Okay, so... Within three minutes, I've killed enough dragons that would take... Probably would take you guys 10 to 15 to kill. Um... It really is fast money, and I'm still probably going to leave here with some D-bones on the ground after I get done looting these. Um, the, uh, for as fast as this is, like I said, I don't take the D, the, uh, the hides. I don't take those because you kill these fast enough, you don't need to take them. It's worth, it's just your opinion. It's worth dropping, it's worth leaving the hides because of the, the quick, amount of time you can kill these in especially you may come across the occasional bot that's retarded and scold and I have gotten a D chain off of this before uh, so you made that's that doesn't really count to your hour, hourly profit but it still does all right so I'm gonna go ahead and drop my prayer renewal and I'm gonna take this last oh that's a valley telly I'm gonna take this last D bone and I'm gonna tell you out of here oh Never mind, I guess. Just pick that back up and leave. Uh, I'll just leave. <laughs> just click. Okay, so let's see my profit. Um, I I have 18 bones banked at the moment because I went ahead and did a trip before coming down here and doing the guide. So 18 bones. Do this. 36. 49. Oops. Okay, so let's see less than two minutes I timed it and it was so a hundred K profit in less than two minutes of doing this and it really is fun and it also brings your wins it also gets your wind stalker helmet upgraded if you want um, you guys can like favorite do whatever with this video. I'd like some feedback because I normally p make PK vids. I don't. I haven't really been feeling up to it lately. I've just been chilling out, doing really nothing, skilling, you know. Uh, I want to know if you guys want more vids on guides and stuff because I'd be glad to do that for you guys. Um, so, yeah, that's just about it. See you later.